Eric, the electric. Did you get me kombucha? You know how much those damn things cost? Less than your Bosque pear habit. I that I don't have anymore. Uh, it's still a lot. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video on the electric. Hopefully you guys are having an amazing day whenever you guys are seeing this and hopefully you guys enjoyed the last video. I enjoyed the last video. You haven't even watched the entire thing yet. I watched parts, I was laughing pretty hard. I was like, so Eric was editing it this morning and I was trying to work and he was laughing so hard at his computer but I was like dealing with like stuff that was going on in my work and I was like, Eric, you need to stop laughing. You're giving me anxiety. What is so funny? He was like on the floor laughing, which makes me feel like usually when he laughs that loud, it means that I'm going to be like, we're not posting this. Um, she was having pretty bad anxiety. I was having pretty bad anxiety. But um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And I need to turn off my air because it just turned on again. So um, if you guys want to see that again, let us know because I'm thinking if a you're drunk bong? a drunk bong, I don't even know if it like by the time that they see this, if it, if, because I want to call it a drunk bong, oh. but if it doesn't pass on YouTube standards, then we'll figure that out. But that's a separate video. If you guys want to see another one, be sure to let us know. We might be able to do that like maybe, maybe once a week or every other week. Uh, I'm thinking like once a month. I do not drink very often and I usually only drink socially. Vegas was an exception because YOLO. But, Did you um, just say YOLO? Yeah, I said YOLO. Um, anyways, this video is we're air frying everything. Yes, and these are. videos actually surprisingly you guys seem to really, really like. And we make like the most amazing discoveries. We do. Um, and I, I don't know why it's just, it's a thing. Maybe just people aren't doing it. Um, I know, we'll, we'll, get, we'll fix that. That's from the, the donuts that you ate. Those were tasty. Those were tasty. Um, so in this video, we're going to be doing some different things. I got some things that Christy has not seen and she doesn't actually know that I got. I told her about sushi this morning and oh, that was a mind blowing thing like, and I was like, I whoa. Um, we're also gonna be answering some questions that you posted on our Instagram page. Instagram well. and yeah, two posts. There, I did a story and on a post. So if you guys don't already follow us on The Hungry Electrics on follow Instagram, down below. go do it. Cause we might just feature your question next. I love how you said that. You're kind of like a newscaster. I've been listening to a lot of pa podcasts. Oh, good, yeah. good. Okay, well, so first things first, everybody. Um, let's do this bag. Um, not all of these are gonna be featured as air fried because some of them we're gonna be not air frying and just enjoying day to day. And we're just gonna show you because we haven't done a grocery haul in quite a long time. I got one kombucha. No, your other one is up there. Oh. Only only one kombucha. Um, these are one of the things that we're not eating. That is not, or not air, air frying. Fry. Not this air is yogurt. for Eric's after snacks. Yeah, we I enjoy pears and envy or apples. Envy apple. Oh, chill, In, chill, 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 I'm chill. Sorry. Let's not I'm go sorry. so fast. Let's let's hold on, Skid Row. Oh. Um, what did you just call me? Skid Row. <laughs> So Dan, what does that it's, mean? It's a, Dan, it's a Dan Cook reference. You never watched Dan Cook? On certain movies. <laughs> it's when you go too fast to something and you're like, you have to go, relax, Skid Row. It's a, it's a, it's a, I'll show you this skit later. It's hilarious. Um, so I'm actually thinking about, I have this new recipe with, um, it's called Brussels sprout chips. Basically you cut off the ends of the Brussels sprout and you put the leaves in the air fryer and it fries them up and they're just like chips. So a lot of you guys that just watch this channel strictly to see how much Doritos we can put into our mouths and fast food, you're probably gonna not like this, but it's totally fine. It's like chips. Maybe not to you. We're in, I told him to bring pickles to air fry and he did not, but yeah, luckily pickles we- pickles are disgusting. Shush, luckily we do have pickles in the fridge so we are gonna air fry pickle chips. And you're gonna eat them. Got some sugar-free jello. Oh, of course um, this is the something sushi. that I'm very, very, very curious to see how it looks. Um, sushi, so we're gonna air, air fry some sushi tonight. Um, and also before we get into this too, you guys have to let us know down below what you guys want us to air fry in the next video, in the next air fry video. And you hate this, I'm gonna air fry an entire clove of garlic tonight. Are you tonight. serious? And I'm gonna bite into it like an apple. Babe, I'm gonna go start sleeping over at the neighbor's house. The neighbor is like 65 and is an old well, man. Well, we got two neighbors below us too. Okay, well you enjoy that. Guys, probably the smell gonna be... of garlic is just like, very powerful. We got, very powerful. We got some uh, rice cakes, and I also got <gasps> some cereal. 
Are we gonna air fry cereal? We're gonna cereal? we're gonna air fry cereal. This is a Chips Ahoy cereal that I've actually had before. It's decent. It's like cookie. Um, what it was looks the like cookie it tastes crisp. like it tastes like cookie crisp too. Right. It tastes almost exactly like it. So we're gonna air fry that. Um, we're also gonna air fry some Takis. So these are very popular among the teenagers and millennials um, nowadays. And I thought, you know what? Let's air fry some Takis. Has your bum hole recovered? I don't think these are very. I don't think these are very. Oh, they're hot. Yeah, these are the hot ones. I don't really think they're very hot. Okay. Good. I mean, if you eat like four bags of them like I did in the Takis Pizza Challenge, oh, they are. Oh, you got the big bottle. Oh, boy. oh yeah. Oh, yeah. He went to Target. I got the Target and I got the reduced sugar. Got She loves the big bottle. Um, these were not going to air fry tonight, but I got them just on an impulse buy. So maybe in the next video, we'll air fry these. We probably go through a box of crackers. We, we maybe eat a lot of crackers. Um, I got some unsweetened baking cocoa because I like to mix it in my protein shakes. And that's it for the Target haul. And last but not least, everybody, we went, I went to Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A. And I got some Chick-fil-A. Now, can you guess what oh, I got? I'm sorry. What? Oh, I thought you were laughing at me. No, I was yawning. Um, let now, me guess, let me guess. Chicken sandwich, tenders, grilled tenders, crispy tenders, you grilled tenders. You nailed it, you nailed it. I got so a bowl? Woo. We got um, an eight count grilled tenders right here, so we're gonna air fry those. And then we got a chicken sandwich that we're gonna air fry too. That's another dang cook reference. Are these, what is this little saucy sauce? What is Chick-fil-A sauce? You've never had Chick-fil-A sauce before? Babe? Oh my goodness gracious. You're about to have your mind changed. Is it sensational? It's sensational. You're about to have your mind changed. Okay, so that's all that everybody. Now you guys have seen our grocery haul and what we're gonna air fry for this video. Now it's time to air fry everything. Welcome to the air fry. A few moments later. Nice and crispy. And here we have our Brussels sprout leaves. Cereal time. Time for some tacos. Okay, very, very, very interesting. Babe, Check. I've decided that there's going to be t-shirts made of our most frequently phrased things. It's, the first one is going to be, we need ketchup. That's the only thing you say is you want ketchup. <laughs> we need ketchup. I never say that, because I'm a normal, sane person. There was something else that you had said that I was like, oh, that would make such a great t-shirt too. Um, let me think about it. I'll have to rewatch that drunk bong because you said it in there and I was like, oh, that, that would That drunk bong though. Well, hello everybody. So obviously we have a plethora of different things in front of us. Um, it smells amazing in here. Last time we did an air fry thing, it did not smell so. So I, I just want to say that the sushi came out Kind of crispy if you've ever tried to, I don't like the framing of this, my head is cut off. Okay, and we're back. Hello everybody. Okay, so as I was saying, um, the sushi came out pretty crispy, but not as crispy as these Takis came out. Those are you've never had Takis before? Mm -hmm. Oh, you won't be in for a treat. It's kind of unsettling to me to have the sweet and the salty kind of like contrasting together. Well, I can move it. Oh no, no, I'm just making oh. my observation. Oh. Okay. Um, and we got some chicken tenders from- Did you air fry those? I did. They're, they're not crispy like I thought they would be though. The burger's are actually more crispy. I love when we do, we air fry burgers. Oh they yeah, because really the it's bun like toast. just like toast. So. Um, I love toast. We also have some questions too, apparently. Mm, we got some our, really good questions. On our Instagram. So she was in control of the questions. Usually like when we do a video or something like that, and we want to do a q and I usually kind of take control of that and everything, but we didn't this time. But right now, you guys should let us know down below what you guys, uh, let us know what you guys want to see for the next air fry video because we'd love to hear it. Where do you want to start first? Um, I kind of really want to start with the sushi, to be honest. Uh, actually, maybe we should get the worst things out of the way. Like, why don't no, you try I your little garlic? No, 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 no. No, because that's actually going to be good. That is I don't want to bite into that garlic clove right now, though. You're going to bite. You're yeah, like actually going to bite into Like it. an apple. Babe, you sleeping by yourself across the parking lot tonight. What do you want to do first? Let's do the sushi. I think it has avocado in it though. Babe, she cannot have, you fed her a donut in the last video. I know. So I'm pretty sure it's just a normal California roll. Do you like to pick out a? Yes. I'm gonna pick out the avocado. Cause I don't like avocado. If you guys are with me on the no avocado love, let me know. I love avocado. Cheers. 
Okay, it kind of tastes like, like under- warm, warm rice is actually pretty good. It kind of tastes like undercooked rice because you know how undercooked rice is crunchy. Mm -hmm. But I love sushi. That's very good. I haven't owned sushi in forever. Would you guys want to see a sushi? What do we even call that? A sushi mukbang? Mm. This one's actually pretty crispy though. So you guys can see right there. It's actually decent sushi for being grocery, grocery store sushi. But um... Ralph's yeah. kind of reminds me, it's like a downplayed version of like Whole Foods. Like I think their foods are really good. I wouldn't even compare the two. You know they're good. Guys, a lot of you, like I said earlier, probably don't care about this. It tastes like charcoal. It tastes like charcoal. You know what, babe? It but tastes good to me. I'm so happy for you, but I'm still here eating it, so. And actually, I think we have to do so you never had Chick-fil-A sauce before? Mm -hmm. you, you, you never actually even been to Chick-fil-A, have you? Oh, a long time ago. A long time ago. Um, Chick-fil-A sauce, I actually don't remember. I think it's, I've had it before and I don't think I like it. Chick-fil-A sauce. Or honey mustard of some sort. So that is what it looks like. Um, yeah, I would agree with you. Um, it looks, yeah, it looks like it's gonna be like fry sauce or something. Let's try the tenders. We'll all try the tenders. Ooh, it's like barbecue sauce. It is. If anything, guys, I would have air fried these for longer. These, to me, I've actually never had these before, I don't think. Nuggets are good. Totally not worth $5. Fresh bottle. Whenever she has a new fresh bottle of ketchup. Yeah. Eric, excuse you. No, what did you eat today? Jeez. <laughs> That's good. I like the chicken. Their sauce is really good though. I'm kind of surprised. All right, so next I either take a bite of this garlic clove or we pull out some questions and start reading some questions. How about you work on the garlic clove? No, pull out some Baby, questions. Baby, I'm not, I'm not gonna need to work on it. You're just gonna peel it and just so gross. All right. <clears throat> So, if you haven't already followed us on The Hungry Electrics, I we both post on it, and um, typically we're, we'll probably start pulling a lot of questions from there because it's fun. And um, I'm not gonna be able to post these down and down below, but maybe in the future. What has been the biggest obstacle in your career, and how did you overcome it? Obstacle in my career? Uh huh. Negativity. Um. And I'm still working to overcome a lot of the negativity that I get. I think becoming the boss has been the biggest obstacle because that's, it's totally different. Be nice to your managers and be nice to your bosses because it's a lot of responsibility. Yeah. Like that's all I have to say for that. Yeah. Be nice. Definitely. Um, ever since you took over for girl, like being the one and only mm -hmm. girl behind Girl Hustle, that's been a lot. Yeah, it has been a lot, but it's been good. It's so rewarding, but it's, it's a hustle every freaking day and I love it. I asked you this the other day. What really got you into the fitness grind and social media grind? Fitness grind or social media grind because those are two completely different. Well, I mean, she says health and fitness grind and social media grind. I be, I was 15 and I was 230 something pounds and I thought that getting uh, losing weight would guarantee me confidence and happiness and it actually did the opposite. I got into it because in junior high, high school, it was kind of an outlet for me to be active and so I ran a lot and then I got into the gym. Yeah, you did cross country, didn't you? Yep, I did do cross country and that type of stuff. Um, and then when I went to college, I started weightlifting and a coach or trainer saw me and he was like, I would love to sponsor you to compete. Would you be interested? And I said, sure. And that's the rest is history. I just, I ended up switching my mm -hmm. degree and like everything, like I just fell in love with it. So that's really cool. Yeah. Yeah. What about social media? Up until probably a, two what is, years. what is social media though? Like, is that, is that making your first social media account or is no, that I would say like we use social media for a huge part of our careers. Yeah. Like, um, I would even say like two years ago, I just kind of posted for fun and it, you know, like whatever, like I just posted for inspiration, motivation, that type of stuff. And I still do, but it's definitely changed because I've accumulated 
like my business has been largely scaled because of social media. Yeah. So it's kind of crazy. What about you? Um, I started using social media, I guess, seriously when I started really taking my channel to the next level. Okay. Um, it's funny because I used to use social, like I used to post on Instagram three times a day. I was like, I was like mandatory. Up, up until like a couple months ago yeah, you were. Yeah. Well, I scaled it back. I was doing like three months a day for like a year. Three times a day. Three times a day for like a year. And then, um, up until like a few months ago, I was like, you know what? I might try to do like two posts a day. And they're, it's like, they're just not like meaningful posts either. They, it starts to get monotonous. Like you're just trying to come up with content. I post on Instagram maybe once every three days or yeah. two days. And on the days that I don't post, I try to be as interactive on my stories as possible. Mm -hmm. And, um, but it like, like frees up a lot of, um, I feel like my time trying to like create content solely for my Instagram feed yeah. when a lot of people love seeing the stories and us live and like that type of stuff. So I try to like get my message out there as much as possible on, on my social media for like people that don't watch my YouTube channel. I try not to be completely centered around my YouTube channel. Um, oh yeah, for sure. It doesn't, it doesn't need chicken or it doesn't need chicken. It has, it's a chicken sauce? sandwich. We'll try it with the sauce. Try with the sauce. That bottom bun. It's pretty soggy. It's so soggy. That tomato. Oh, that tomato is the best part, though. Who is who out there is team tomato on their sandwich or burger? You well, would. the bun underneath is fine. So All right, let's let's do this. I'm gonna find. I just I need to get this out of the way. I think Brian did this. He did this with an onion too. Poor Sammy. I'm trying to smell it. Oh, baby, you didn't even take the wrappings off. Oh, talk about Grinch style. Don't don't be dramatic. Don't you're gonna make me gag. Ugh. Yeah, that was gross. Um, I regret that for sure. But I had to do it because I told you guys I would. Imagine doing that raw. Raw is a thousand times worse. That's disgusting. All right, well, gross. Um, <clears throat> this is a funny follow-up question. Is it hard to not get jealous romantically when you both get a lot of public attention? She gets more public attention than I do. Oh, are you kidding me? He's way more of a celebrity than I am. No, no, no. Well, I disagree with that, but I think in the, I think they mean in the sense that like people are getting in your DMs. Oh. Because I I know there's a lot of horny fourteen year olds getting in your DMs. It's more than fourteen year olds. It's um. Even men who should not be in my teams, let's just put it kindly like that. Um, Cause I mean like you guys don't realize that when you guys message us, we go check out your socials. Like we, we before we ever respond to everything, we want to see exactly who we are talking to. Yeah. And so like if a guy slides into my DM and he's- Married with kids. Married with kids, I'm like lock <laughs> or you could screenshot and send it to the wife no no it that's like stirring up drama like that it's not even well worth it, i mean I just, like, guys i have i have no respect for guys that do that that's for, that like to, to children really yeah that's it's really sad it is definitely really really sad so anyway um it, i i think that people would think that i'd be more jealous of eric's attention that he gets i mean like Everywhere we go, he gets recognized, and I wouldn't say that. you know, I'm the one that takes the picture and that type of stuff. And then and until this year, you were getting taken pictures with too. That was fun. That was fun for you. And we're in LA. Where? In LA. We went to the LA Fit Expo, and you finally got people come up to you and recognize you. Oh, and yeah, with you. yeah, but it was because I was with you. It wasn't because it was me. They they clearly walked up to you and said, "We watch you guys both on the electrics. We're so happy to meet you." Well, I know, but it's different. Like, there's no way I would be here without you. And so, like to me, I kind of view it differently. I wouldn't say maybe, that. Maybe I'm wrong. Let me know if I'm wrong. I guess I just kind of I view it like that. that. I just feel like I'm famous by association. I wouldn't say that. <laughs> I totally do. He's really really sweet. Um, but we. At the end of the day, me and Eric have been through a lot with relationships and we both know that jealousy, there's no room for jealousy. No. If no. you want like a functional relationship. And so it doesn't bother me. I love it when people recognize him because I see how hard he works and it's so cool to like Aww. see it recognized. I love it. It's cool. And that like goes with the post. I'm gonna actually move to that post. I posted on our 
Instagram and it was about relationships. And I said, do you guys have any rela relationship insight that you guys would like us to talk about? And somebody asked this question, I really loved it. She said- No. Um, where's it at? Oh babe, these are hot. Oh, are they? Mm. Try one. Mm. <laughs> you okay? Hiccups, yeah. Like it. That's got some kick to it. That is good. Is it just tortilla chips like it's rolled tortilla up? Tortilla chip, rolled in and salsa picante. What kind of reminds me of like a tiquito. Wow, that's tasty. Mmm. Those are good. What do they taste like? Not air fried. It's a better question because I've never had one. Tortilla chips, hot tortilla chips, tortilla chips to me. So they're like this kind of like it's good. Dang. Okay. So this girl said, "I personally, because me and Eric don't fight. Like we banter, but it's always which people perceive as fighting. It's not though. It's not like it's fun banter. Um, at the end of the day, we are very, very respectful of each other, and neither of us like to feel like we're in trouble, and so we never." I would never approach Eric mad about something and make him feel bad because that would make me feel horrible. Yeah, but in the same, same on my end. Too. And so when, so the biggest thing is like communication and somebody asks like, do you have any communication techniques that you use when you talk to each other? And I liked that because I feel like my techniques have come from past relationships where things worked and things didn't work. Yeah. And so. A, a teensy? We are trying to film a video and you're being very rude and you're gonna have a time out soon. Somebody had a question about her and I'll get to her in a second. Um, I just truly feel like it's just about being able to sit down calmly and be and talk like, about things. and talk about things. Like I wanna explain to you how I'm feeling, but I'm never going to assume that if something happened, he did it on purpose. Because I feel like a lot of times, like... People do that. People do that. If something goes wrong, you automatically think they must have done it on purpose. Or because mm -hmm. they wouldn't have seen that. And I always, like, look at things as... Like, Eric would never do anything intentional to upset me or irritate me or anything like that. So when things happen, if I can recognize he didn't mean to do that, typically I won't even say anything because it's, like, not a big deal. Mm -hmm. But... If it goes, it's never actually really have gotten to a point where I've been like, hey, you did this and it mm -hmm. really upset me. Uh, and, and like me too. I, I'm very, I feel like sometimes I'm, sh I'm short fused with certain things. I feel like I can be too, but you don't, you don't, you've never lit that fuse me, for me. I was about to say the same thing. You've never lit that fuse with me. We so. understand like the frustrations of what we do for work. And so, I don't know. I think we're just both very, very respectful of each other and the last thing we'd ever want to do is make each other feel bad yeah by blowing up about something and then that's not important that's not important because the i hate having to apologize for being a jerk i hate it yeah and so i try to avoid that at all costs so that's kind of I'm our take on that now. Eat it. these are delicious it kind of it's all cool and it's kind of just like normal cereal now Really? It's just like normal cereal, but I do need it. I needed that after the the, the Takis though, because my mouth's on fire. Oh yeah, it just tastes like cereal. I like Cookie Crisp. I was a cereal that my mom never bought me as a kid. Ever. She bought you the ones in the bags? Yeah, but we didn't get that kind. Alright, let's do two more questions. Oh, somebody said more dog info. Can you tell me more about Athena? And I was like, okay. Athena is a German Shepherd. She's not papered, but you can tell by the way she looks. Like, she's definitely purebred. Um, I got her off of Craigslist when she was eight months old. Um, I'm her third owner. The reason why people, oh, wow. yeah, no. the reason why people did not want her, which like breaks my heart, but she's very needy for being a German Shepherd. She, <laughs> I swear, if the universe made my soul 
the soul was too big for my body and the fragments were put, put in hers because we're like soul sisters like really like yeah. we're we're very very much alike and we can communicate with each other like it's crazy um so that's kind of the story with her she's eight years she'll be eight this year and she's extremely healthy and she's i feel so she's extremely lucky. healthy because even if we feed her oreos she's still fine yeah she yeah. she's extremely healthy um she doesn't have any signs of hip dysplasia or anything like that like every time we go to the vet she is like pristine health and she's great and i walk she's her good. i walk her every single day and um i have that food bowl where she like chases it and tumbles it so it can like Calm. exercise her mom or her mind that's what i meant to say her mom too because i have to get up and down and refill do. it every single freaking you do a good job at it too um okay last question do you want to pick it i really wish this something better would happen with this cereal what were you expecting? What were you hoping to happen? You know, like when you toast toast, it gets like super toasty and warm on the inside. A little burnt. Like the way I like my toast. I love my toast a little burnt. Oh, let's not let's not talk about the way we, you know, prefer things at certain temperatures. I got destroyed. Literally half the comments on the Gordon Ramsay video were, you like your steak well done? Mm. You peasant, you're gross. It's like welcome to being human where we have taste preferences. They called you a peasant. That's hilarious. I've um, a lot of things in my life. I don't know what Mortal Kombat is, but what's your favorite character? That's a lame last question. Well, what is it? Do you have one? I don't even know what that is. Scorpion. It's a game. Somebody said, I think your boobs look full natty. I appreciate that. They are not, though. Someone asked, will you guys live together? We do live together. Maybe one day. Maybe one day. Um... It's just kids and um, yeah. what was the most awkward moment? Which one of you can squat the most? Definitely me. Um, how did you deal with your parents when you told them that you were leaving the church? Haven't we talked about that before? <sighs> yeah, we have. They, it was fine. It, I mean, like, I think I had a harder time telling them than because I, like, was thinking they were going to have a certain reaction and they still love me. We see. See, that I, let, me, let, me, let me pick one. Let me, okay. one. Go. let me do this. Does Chrissy ever feel pressure from Eric's fans to do, these in, to do intense calorie challenges or food challenges? Guys, I do what I want. <laughs> so no. No, no. The, our first day, I totally volunteered. The second day, the donut one on your channel, I totally volunteered. And after doing those two, you and, just realized how it is. And being so sick after the donut one, do you remember how we were in the grocery store afterwards? Yep. And I was like, I think I'm gonna pass out. Like, yeah, I was so sick. And I, I do that every single week. I haven't had a desire to do it since. It's not fun. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let us know down in the comments below and let us know if you guys want to see another air fry video and what you guys want to see in that air fry video. Yes. We had a great time. Yeah. The electrics are out.